Well, good afternoon, Rolling Hills Baptist Church. Uh, another episode that you have been so longing and waiting all week for is back. We are here with Encouragement Thursday, and we are glad to see you this week. I hope your week's been fantastic. We've had a busy week here at Rolling Hills, but it's been a real blessing. God's always more faithful to us than we deserve. Uh, we had a great night last night of, of just worshiping in the Lord together and then ending it all off with a little bit of pie, which is usually a good thing. Uh, and I wanted to share one verse with you today, and I want you to kind of come with me uh, today. You know, I'm encouraged by seeing Christ in the lives of others. And, you know, God's word says in Matthew 6, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So God says if we will set our mind, our heart, our affection on him first, that he'll take care of all the rest. But here's the thing. In this world, there are so many distractions. Um, and one of the one of the places we find so much of the distraction is with our teens. And so I'm very encouraged to see that when they don't get the chance to have a Bible study on praise and pie night, they say, well, we're going to have our Bible study just on the next night on Thursday. And I'm very encouraged by that. So as we go in here today, we see uh, that they are getting ready to actually have their Bible study in here. They've got the scene all set. And I was looking around for look at let's let's look at this in here. Uh, and, and I'm so encouraged by this because it, whether it's our teens, whether it's our young folks in Spencer or whoever it may be, when the word says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, it tells us that we have to keep our eyes on him. So I'm so encouraged by, and they, you know, sometimes we give a little pizza to kind of help with that encouragement, which is what they're doing in here. Uh, but, but I'm so thankful for how other people in the work of the ministry, and maybe you right where you are. Are, are helping folks to set their affections on him and to keep their focus there. Because in the world that we live in, there's so many distractions, there's so many storms, so many unexpected events that come upon us that I need to be reminded myself to seek him first. And I'm so thankful for people that God has led here that are going to remind our teens and remind our young folks, right, that, that where we need to always be looking is on Jesus Christ. Christ because there's nothing better, there's no other place to truly find satisfaction than in him. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you today. I hope you're encouraged by this, but I hope as well, wherever you are, that you're doing the same, that you're taking what Jesus has said seriously, and you're trying to not only have your affection set on him, but also Im impact those around you and help those around you to be focused on the greatest and only Savior of the world. Uh, so it's been great to see you today. I hope it's been an encouragement to you, and I look forward to worshiping with you, those that will be here on Sunday.